Greetings, Levi Jonathan, out here in front of Publix headquarters in Lakeland, Florida. Beautiful day today in November. We came here today to give our testimony about what happened on March 17, 2013, when we came to protest for the Immokalee workers. We arrived early, and I thought that it was appropriate to take a picture in front of the Public Secretary sign with my sign, which read one cent, to indicate that we were demanding Publix to give another cent per pound of tomatoes picked to the Immokalee workers. I told my wife to take my camera and get a picture of myself in front of the sign. My wife was standing within this area that you see now. I began to walk towards the sign. The officer, from a distance, from the security unit that you see in the background, hollered to get onto the crosswalk. I immediately complied, walking back into this area. I stood within this area and I instructed my wife to go ahead and proceed to take the picture. My wife never did get that picture out because she indicated that the officer was pursuing from behind by pointing in this fashion. At that point, I came onto the curb and retrieved my camera and began to record. The officer came in close proximity of, of us, myself, my wife behind me, and to my left side was a young woman who continued to say, we don't want any trouble. He came into proximity with us and he gave began to give us a verbal warning. I listened to his entire warning without making a noise. At the end, he asked if we understood, and I told him, yes, sir. I complied with his warning, and I began to walk away, to get away from the situation that I had already seen escalate for no reason. At that point, he asked for my ID. I answered him and told him I did not have an ID. He did not give me any other time to communicate with him. He did not ask me any other questions. He simply just grabbed myself and began to drag me over to this point. Everything after that is non-substantial because the officer had no probable cause to take myself and detain myself and put myself under investigation. However, I continued to comply by being non-resistant and allowing the officer to pull me over to this area in which he put a foot out in front of myself and pushed me down on the ground like so and got on top of me with, I believe, his knee. At that point, my wife came to my aid pleading, pleading. She was in this position over here, pleading, saying, what did he do? I knew enough to get my wife out of the situation. So I took my hand and I put it in my pocket while my left hand was still recording the event. And I threw my keys to my wife and I said, Am, go home. Am means wife in Vietnamese. The officer said she's not going anywhere and grabbed my wife and threw her on top of myself. On top of myself. He was on top of my wife who was on top of myself. All I was focused on doing is recording. What I thought was recording the entire incident. I laid with my hands by my side and my wife struggled because of her asthma. And she knew that I was being crushed. The struggle ended up with the officer on top of my wife in what I consider to be sexual molestation of my wife. He acted like the shark that had smelled blood. And 
he continued to fawn to my wife so that when she got up, her shirt was unbuttoned. I continued to stay on the ground. The second officer that came to the scene was the one that got us up off the ground, not Officer Rose. Officer Rose went away to get on his walkie-talkie, which he now says that we took up from off of him and threw it. But I will say again that I attempted to record the entire incident from the point where we were given that verbal warning till after the struggle ensued. And I even have another picture in there because I, what I was attempting to do was to save the recording and to re-record. Now, we will not be intimidated. We will not be treated as belligerent people. We were abiding by our rights. Freedom of expression, as awarded to us by the Constitution of the United States of America, in serving out here that day for a just cause. It was the officer that was violent, not us.